All right, so your homework was to just finish up this real, real simple thing. Uh, to take a paper triangle, rip it up, and put the angles together, okay? If we do that, we put the angles together like this, and what do we see? What relationship do we see? And I'll line that. What relationship do we see between the angles of the triangle? How do you mean perfectly? Like there's 180 degrees. Okay, 180 degrees. Here's an angle, and here's another angle. Here's another angle. If we look at all of them together, they make this perfect straight line. 180 degrees. Does that sound familiar? We've yeah. heard that before, right? That the angles of a triangle, if you add them all up, they add up to 180. Okay. This one might be 28. This one might be 92. This one could be 60. And all together, they add up to 180 degrees. Um, let's see. I'm going to play this again for you, and I want you to just listen to what this, uh, this sophomore in college has to say about what she's sharing. Very interesting, and I do not know why they don't tell you this at school, because it makes a lot of sense. It only takes a second, really, and it really helps you understand <clears throat> about the angles of the triangles and how they all fit together. And, you know, this I think this should be taught in schools because it really helped me, and I can't, I can't believe that I didn't know this until sophomore year of college. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope, if you didn't know this already, that you understand now, and because I know this really helped me. So thanks for watching. Okay. So... girl. Uh, what did she say about knowing that now, Sean? It really helped her. Mm -hmm. like, it helped her out. She didn't know why they didn't teach it in schools, right? You're just told that triangles angles add up to 180, but you're supposed to take it on faith. That kind of thing, showing you for sure that the angles of a triangle add up to 180, or whatever the subject is, that's my approach, right? I'm gonna show you these things as much as I can. Sometimes uh, the area of a circle. I showed you that once, how we can take it, cut it into lots of pieces, and turn it into a rectangle, but I'm not gonna show you that every time. I will, I'll show you the area of a trapezoid, though. I'll cut that into pieces, and I'll show you that every single time to remind you, okay? But whenever it's possible and it's, it's feasible, I'm going to show you why. All right? So hopefully you went home over the weekend. You did that. You saw it yourself. You just saw the result of, uh, of some girl on YouTube doing just that, cutting up an actual paper triangle and coming up 180 degrees. Now I'm, but, but here's the thing. The problem with that is if you did it, you saw it for your one triangle. We all brought them together, and then we looked at them. You know, each of ours. Well, then we'd only see it for as many triangles as you guys cut out, right? And that would be, you know, we had 15 people that day. I think I think everybody was here, so 15 triangles, maybe 14 triangles, all right? Uh, and the one in the video that that makes it 15. How many triangles are there, Alex? Now, not how many kinds, oh. but how many triangles like in the universe? A lot. How many? Infinite. 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 There's no end to the number of triangles you can make. Right? Change one little bit, one angle just a little, one side just a tiny bit, you got a new triangle. Right? Do, do the angles of that triangle have to 180? I think so. But I'm going to show you something you could do with any triangle that proves, and that's an important thing, proof of something, all right? Proof is, just proof.
truth mean? <coughs> Ready? Yeah. If I've proved something, then is there any room for doubt? No. There's room for doubt where we stand right now. A bunch of you have taken triangles, you've cut them up, you've put them together, and you got a straight line. So that was for your triangles. What about for all of the triangles? Right? Now we're going to prove it for all triangles because we're going to do something to this triangle that we can see in front of our eyes. It could be done to any triangle, no matter which one. Okay? This would also always have to work for every triangle. Okay? And we'll see the results. All right? So let's start by taking this triangle and uh, you can see how well this works. We'll color it in. Okay, that angle we'll call black. This one, we'll make that one blue. And let's see, we'll make this one orange. Looks like we can tell the difference between all those. I'm going to take this triangle, make a copy of it, and I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Right? So 180 degrees, that means I turn it upside down completely. Okay? So let's see that. I'm going to turn it 180 around the, the middle of this line. Okay? So when I'm done, I should, right, those two long sides there should match up just right. So I made a copy of it, I flipped it over. And so far, so good. What do we see right here? This angle, compared to the first triangle we had, Sean? It's blue. It's blue, very good. That's what I'm looking for. It's blue. How about this guy? Black. Black. And the other one? Orange. Orange. Okay, now, let's try this again. Uh, take, hmm, I'm in trouble. Take this one. And the uh, thing you have to imagine is I take this triangle and I rotate it. I'm taking a copy and I rotate it and I basically lays on top of this triangle, okay? Copy that, rotate it. If I had about 10 more minutes, I would have made this a lot smoother, a lot nicer. Here we go. Okay, so it's, it's that triangle. So I'm gonna take this copy, I'm gonna rotate it around the middle part of this side. So I rotated, uh, this first copy 180 degrees, and I rotated this next copy another 180 degrees, right? Which means that this copy is just this copy rotated 360 degrees, which is back to where we started, right? So this should be perfectly in line with this, right? Perfectly straight line, like that. Two 180 degree rotations, we're all the way back to where we started. <coughs> So what would you say about this angle? Black. 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 This one? Blue. Blue. And the other? Orange. It's the same as if I had taken that and just slid it over here, right? But by rotating it like that, we are sure that this triangle fits right in there, right? So what do we have here? Orange and blue and black. Is that all the angles of the triangle we started with? Yes. The orange one, the blue one, and the black one. Now, if I look at them right here, what do they add up to? 180 degrees. Now, could I have done that for any triangle? Yes. Yeah. Would it make a difference if I changed the size of the original triangle? No. Right? Lay it flat, flip it, flip it again. We get 360 rotation. This copy will always fit right snug in there between the two triangles there and there, okay? So now we have a, a proof, pretty good proof, 
you might want to write it up a little more formally, but I have shown you that you must be able to do this with any triangle, and so all the angles of any triangle add up to what? 180. 180. Good. So now I can see inside this triangle, these three add up to 180. Okay? Let me show you another proof. Okay? And that'll be at two proofs. Go back to where we just colored in the angles. Okay? Everything to move it right here. All right, I'm going to put it right there because what I'm going to do is say that this line, the bottom of this triangle, and this line from the, the notebook paper, what would you say about those two lines? Alex? The triangle fits evenly between, uh, between the lines. I mean, this, not this line down here, the line that is the base of the triangle. And this line here. They're parallel. They're parallel. Like, parallel? Mm -hmm. Agree? Okay. All right, so I want to use this, this line right here, parallel line. Then I'm going to take this line, and I'm just going to keep drawing it out in that direction. I'm going to take this line and keep drawing it out in that direction. Okay. And you can see we have one, two, three angles. Right. Now, what could you tell me about this angle? How big is it? Blue. Everybody agree it's blue? It's as big as the blue angle? Yes. Uh, it's hard to believe that it wouldn't be because it's just two straight lines crossing each other. So, well, what, whatever angle this is at, this must be at the same angle, right? Imagine you take two straight lines and you just you know, you tweak them just like this, however much you want. These two, what we call vertical angles, okay, must be the same. Vertical angles. Okay, so these are the same and these are the same with each other. No, they're not all the same with each other, of course. All right, how about uh, this angle? How big would you say it is? Black. Who said black? Why, Sean, would you say black? Prove to us that it must be black. Because the angle line comes from the black side. Comes from the black side. And it's a bigger angle than the orange. It can tell just visually by looking at it. Okay. It's a bigger angle. Just by looking at it, it's not a great proof, right? But I see what you're saying. I mean, this. This line is just a continuation, right, of this line that is and the black so, one. Like you said, it's opposite. It's opposite? You know how you're saying that when you do this, oh. both sides are the same. Okay. I kind of, yeah. There's one little thing that I'm looking for. It has to do with what I said at the beginning of this, Josie. Like that's like the other half of the triangle. Like it's other the half. left side of that first triangle. This is? Yeah, like if you were to draw the other half, you would see it's Oh, like this. Yeah. Right, okay. That's like I can see it, but how can I be so sure? It's like a really simple thing, and I, you're probably, when I tell you, you're going to think, well, why is he making such a big deal out of it, Johnny? You find the, the angle of both of the sides and see which one matches. We could, but. Just by saying a few words like, well, you can see this, and you can see this, and because of these few things, those two would have to be the same. And even if I measured it, like I already know before I measure it, they would have to be the same thing. Right? If the key part, Sean said a lot of it, the key part here is, goes back to what I said at the very beginning, which was this line and this line are what? Parallel. Parallel. Right? Until we say that, it's not quite complete. But if this is the same as that, any number of... Uh, arguments could, could convince you that, that these two are the same, right? I, I mean, if this is parallel to this, and, and this is a straight line, I could, I could just imagine that I could slide that angle right up into there. It's got to be exactly the same, okay? Uh, that's what we call two parallel lines and a transversal, right? These two angles, they have a special name, I forget what the special name is, but there, there's the same. And how about this angle? What's it the same as? Orange. It's the same as orange. And so again, we see, and I didn't switch over to orange. Orange. There's orange. There's blue. There's black. Right? Orange, blue, and black. Add up orange, blue, and black, and you get what? 180 degrees. Okay. Two separate times we see that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. It's going to be important here in the work that I give you to do in a minute. Right? But there you go. Don't, you don't have to trust me. 
You don't have to just believe that they have 280, just because I said so. Uh, there's two different ways that you could show that they would have to add up to 180. Okay. So, this is a homework because uh, we didn't quite get to it. What I want you to do for a four-sided figure, a uh, five-sided figure, six-sided figure, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, and a hexagon, the same question. What do all of the angles inside each of these add up to? Okay. We're going to prove, using what we just talked about, about a triangle. Okay. Well, if you can figure out another way, that'd be fine by me. But a really simple way to use triangles to show that uh, well, the, the, number, the, the angles inside a quadrilateral must be this. The angles inside a pentagon must add up to this. The angles inside of a hexagon must add up to that. Okay, I'm going to see, just with the first hint is triangles, something about triangles. Start with a four-sided, just start with one of them, and we'll pick your favorite one, okay, and see if you can come up with the number of degrees that all the angles have to add up to, okay? If I were to add up this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, what would they add up to? Probably more than 180. But work on that for a minute. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to see what kind of work you guys are doing. And then I'm going to give you another hint. First hint is think about triangles. OK, your next hint that I'm going to give you here, talking about triangles here, think about taking, starting from here, OK, just pick a vertex. Those corners are called vertices. Vertex is singular. Uh, if I draw a line from there to there, what did I do there? The hints, not, not much. Right. I just trace back over one of the sides. It doesn't really help me. Right. So if I connect those two vertices, it doesn't really help me much. What if I connect this vertex with this vertex? It's a triangle. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. Just one? Two. Two. I just get two, because then by default they get a triangle over there, OK? Right? If you haven't tried that, give that a try. You got now two triangles. You're trying to add up all the angles. Think about that. All right? I'd love to get around everybody individually, but we gotta move along here. I see some things like uh, like this one, just kind of shooting straight across like that. That makes sense. But the problem there, that's not a, the same problem here. All of the angles of these triangles are part of the angles of the original shape. Right? But here, that's not the case. Some of the angles are kind of tied up in the angles of the, of, the, of the hexagon here. But then there's some in the middle that are like extra. Right? What do I do with those? I don't know. How, how much are all these angles put together? Not sure, because I don't know anything about the individual angles of a triangle, unless I get out a protractor and I'm really good at measuring angles. Don't know how big each of them is, right? So Alex? Um, well, I did something different. I'm not totally sure if it works though. Okay, so something different. I got, I cut the side. Or can I just come in? Sure. Uh, come on up. So I just kind of cut the sides. Okay. Like that, and then. Saw a lot of that. And then uh, there's four sides. And I did 360 degrees times 4, and I got 1,440 degrees. Times 4? Why times 4? Because there's 4 sides. Hmm. Explain that to me. Why 4 sides? Because you have to add up all of the angles. Uh -huh. And there's 4 angles. And I just kind of took 360 times 4. Well, is this angle 360 degrees, do you think? Probably not. Probably not. It looks closer to, you know, maybe 90 or something like that. And that one too, and that one too, and that one too. But we're getting somewhere. Um, here, let's jump back to this guy here. Okay? Let's just jump back to this one here. There, we have this angle here, right? And this angle, and this angle. What do those three angles add up to? 180. 180 there. Okay? How about this angle plus this angle plus this angle? 180. 180. And so, in a kind of a, yeah, just 
a different way. We've added up this angle, this angle, this angle, <coughs> this one, this one, and this one. And in doing that, we have kind of built up this entire angle and this one as well, right? If I add up this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, what would I get? 360. Well, when I did that, when I added this, 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 and this, did I get all of the angles of the four-sided figure of the quadrilateral? Yes. Did I miss any? No. Did I get any extra? No. Just all of it? Yeah. Completely. 360. Okay. Kittens? I figured out that you kind of have to figure out quadrilateral. 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 Uh huh. Okay. And maybe the hexagon. Okay, let's talk about the hexagon. Um, well, how he, how, um, how looks it, uh -huh. um, it's just, um, all of those angles would be add up to 360. Inside here? Yeah. Okay, this is a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral. Here's a quadrilateral, right? We can always take a quadrilateral and split it into what? Half, which gives us two triangles. two triangles. Two triangles will add up to how many degrees? 360. We could do that to this one, right? We cut this into two triangles. 360. And then you just figure out the outside ones. 180, right? Yeah. 180 as well. Mm -hmm. And the then you add 360 together. Just add it all up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sure? Well, take 180 yes. and 100. Right, so, three, so these are 360, and then this is 360. And then you add it. You add it all up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This one plus this one plus this one are 180. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so we're at 180 plus this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. Well, that's 360 plus 180, 540. Plus this one plus this one plus this one. 720. Did we add up all the angles of the hexagon? Yes. Did we miss any? No. Did we throw any extra in there? No. No, the sum that we just found, 720, is the sum of all the angles of the triangles, which also happens to be the sum of all the angles of the entire hexagon. Okay. Sean? I did it a little bit different. Okay, I let's did it. do it a little bit different. Uh, it, it still got the same, but um, I did it from each angle. each So each one would go spread. From that angle, you'd go to each other. Angle, so you, so you go from here to, to any other angle that you can. Yes. Okay, I like that. From there to there. From there, from there to, to there. From there to there. And then you can't do the other two because the, there's our. I just trace back over that side. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then I just added up all. Each triangle has 180 degrees mm -hmm. in it, so. There so. Four triangles. Four, four triangles. Creates. Four times. Not 18, 180? 720. 720, right? By taking that quadrilateral, we're in essence doing the same thing. We're turning it into two triangles. So that one cut the way that it was. It was four triangles as well, right? I like this though. I like going from one vertex, just shoot a line over to any other vertex you can. Because it works with any other one. Yeah. So not just the hexagon. Not just hexagon, does it work for the pentagon? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's start from here. Yeah. Can I trace to there? No. No, I mean, I could, but it doesn't do anything. But from there to there, look what I did. I made a triangle. From here, over to there, I made a triangle, and yep. by default, I made another triangle. Three triangles. Three triangles. Each triangle has 180, 180 right? 180. I'm going to do this one last time, the, the annoying long way, and ask you the same questions. What's this plus 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 this? Plus this. 540. 540. Did I add up all of the angles of the pentagon? Yes. No. Did I miss any? No. Did I get any extra? No. 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 no, it's just all of the angles of the pentagon add up to how much? 540. 540. All the angles of a hexagon add up to how much? 740. All the angles of a quadrilateral add up to how much? 360. 360. Okay. Let's see if we can come up with this next one real quick. 
to, to yourselves, though to yourselves would probably take, I don't know, 30 seconds or so if we're paying close attention. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's hard to make a seven where one of the sides yeah. doesn't look straight. But it's seven, right? Seven sides, seven angles. Let's see if you can work that out real quick. All right, so if we use Sean's approach here, and I start at any angle I want, go off that way, that's not going to do anything. I'm just going to trace over that line. So there we go. I'll shoot over to this one, that one, this one. And if I tried to trace this one, I wouldn't do anything, right? So how do we, now we don't have to do all this long thing where I say, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this? right? We know we see we have the angles of the triangle are completely contained in the angles of the, uh, the original shape of Brady. Well, here we know that the triangle is 180 degrees. Right. We can just say 180 degrees uh -huh. times five, times five triangles. Five triangles. Which is 900 degrees. 900 degrees. Okay. Now until someone stops me, I'm gonna keep making you do this for the next figure, and the next figure, and the next figure, unless someone can say, well, you really need to do that over and over and over and over. Until so someone stops me and says there's like this easier way. Like if you tell me how many sides the thing has, some of you think they have that. If I just told you the number of sides that the figure is going to have, do you think you could figure out what all the angles add up to? Will you nod in your head? Yes, once you volunteer, this is what you would do. Maybe you're waiting for a number. Okay, let's say it's hard to draw it, so let's just say I were to draw a figure that was uh, 13 sides. Okay? I drew this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13. Could you tell me, by looking at it, imagining maybe that you construct what we've been constructing, tell me how many degrees it all adds up to, Alex? Well, um, I realize that like each side is, well, it's kind of hard. Well, each side is like 180 degrees. Then, each side is 180? That's true, but see, we're trying to add up all of these, not all of those. All of these guys here. You had this on Grady's hand? Um, well, what we've been doing is three, three angles make up the triangle. Right. So if you say, oh, well, if I take six, it would be two, ten angles, it would be five. Or we got 13. Let's do 13. You got 13 angles, 13 sides. You're going to break it into triangles like we've been doing before. What do you think? Can we do that for any any shape any, of any size? Can we break it into triangles like we've been doing? No. No? What shape would you not be able to do it for? Shape. Uh, so what you have there is a concave shape. We're going to talk about convex. So, like, a rule is you can't, you, you have to draw your figure so it never does this. Like, it never goes in on itself like that. Okay? So, if that's the rule, convex, not concave. Sean? Well, I found that however many sides there are, it's going to be the same length as triangles for each shape. Does everybody so agree with that? Yes. Yeah. So, if there's seven sides, there's only five triangles inside there. If we did each line, there'd be uh -huh. five triangles inside that. So we'd have 11 triangles inside the 13-sided shape. Okay, so it makes 11 triangles? And then we do 11 times 180. Why is there always minus two? Where are, we, where are these two going, Alex? Because when you're, when you're at whatever vertex you uh -huh. are, you can't do the one right next to it because it's just a line. Good, so every line I can draw from one vertex to another will make a triangle, but I can't draw it to the ones that are right next to it. Yeah, yeah. So I missed those two. And uh, so I can make 11 of them. Yeah. I don't know what 11 times 180 is, but 
But whatever it is, that will be what? 1,980. 1,980 what? Degrees. Degrees. Finish the sentence, 1,980 degrees. Square. It's the sum of all the angles of 13 sided thing. Which you could call, it gets called this a lot, a 13 gon. A pentagon or a hexagon. Once we get past like 8, 9, 10, we usually just throw the number gone. Gone. 13 okay. gone. Now, oh, here's your homework. You ready for your homework? Yeah, yeah. I want you to, we didn't quite get there. It's fine. I could draw a 13 sided figure, a 14 sided figure, a 15 sided figure, on and on and on and on. And on. And you could produce the number of degrees that all the angles add up to. For an n sided. Or one that has n sides, you tell me, it won't take you long, I'll bet, but you could do it before you even leave class today if you wanted to think real hard about it. You tell me how to take that n, right? Because n is the number of sides. n is uh, 13. The previous example would be n is 13, okay? You take that and you somehow, through some whatever you need to do, turn that n into the sum of the angles. See? When you get done, you should be able to tell me how to take n, turn it into the sum of all the angles. That's it. So give it away. Only shout it out right now. Just write that down. If you got it, great. Bring it back next time. Any questions? This is the algebra of it, where we let numbers represent, or sorry, letters represent numbers that we do not. Like need two names specifically. We could, but we don't need to, right? So you're going to bring back something that says, take it and do this to it, you have the angle of the L. Have a good day.